Hi everyone, uh, in this session I am going to discuss about how to calculate weighted average number of shares outstanding. Okay, so we'll look at how to calculate weighted average number of shares. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's say uh, shares outstanding, shares outstanding on 1st January 2020. So let's assume 1 million. Okay. And shares issued on 1st April 2020, shares issued on 1st April 2020, let's assume 200,000, then shares repurchased on 1st October 2020. So that is going to be 100,000. Okay. So therefore, the total shares outstanding, shares outstanding on 31st December 2020, 1.1 million. Okay, so based on this information, let's try to calculate the weighted average number of shares. Okay, so this is what we are going to calculate. Okay, so there are two ways where you can calculate this. So let's uh, calculate based on the first method. Okay, very easy method. Okay, so first method, let's take the shares outstanding on 1st January 2020. So, we are going to calculate on 31st December 2020. So, therefore, these shares are available for 12 months. So, straight away you can take uh, 1 million and shares issued on 1st April 2020 since this was issued on 1st April so these shares were held how many months till December 9 months okay then finally shares repurchased on 1st October 2020 okay so therefore these shares were not available for how many months? Three months. Okay. So therefore, let's take the first one. Uh, one million divided by twelve times twelve. So that is going to be one million. Okay. Then uh, shares issued. This is on first uh, January. 2020. Then 1st April 2020 shares were issued 200,000. This is available for 9 months as we calculated here 9 months. So it's going to be 150. Then 1st October 2020 repurchased 100,000 so these shares were not held for 3 months therefore 100 divided by 12 times 3 so which is going to be 
25 minus okay so 1 million plus 150 minus 25,000 so it's going to be 1 million 125 okay so this will be the weighted average number of shares okay now let's look at the second method Now let's look at the second method. This is the second method. How do you calculate? So let's take this 1 million. Okay, so this 1 million was available till, uh, till the date of the second issue, which is 1st April, which means 3 months. Okay. This 1 million was available for 3 months. Then on 1st April, uh, there is an issue of 200,000. Uh, then on 1st October, uh, there was a repurchase of shares, 100,000. Therefore, from April to October, there is 6 months. Okay, 6 months, the total uh, available shares were 1.2 million. Okay. So this period 1.2 million and here only 1 million. Then from here to here it's 3 months and shares were repurchased. So therefore the total available for this period is 1 million 100. Okay. So if you calculate 1 million times 3 months. It's going to be 1 million divided by 12 times 3, 250 shares, 250,000 shares. Then 1.2 million divided by 6 times 12, divided by 12 times 6 will be 600,000. And finally 1.1 million times. 3 3 times divided by 12 which is going to be 1.1 1 .1 million divided by 12 times 3 275 okay so if you take the total amount which is going to be 1 million 125 okay so these are the two ways uh, where you can calculate the weighted average number of shares. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye for now.